I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new um, IFT 110 course and SimNet and how you're going to integrate them together. So if you go out to Commons, there is a shell for this class. You want to use a classroom template. And it's set up by units. Um, you know, you're welcome to rearrange this if you like, but I have it as orientation, IT essentials, Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, the normal setup. Um, some people like to do it by weeks if you want to move it around. Not a problem. Um, in the orientation, it's all pretty well set up. You're also going to have to add your syllabus here. And then you should also add your syllabus on the syllabus link so that it's in two places. There are things, assignments that are part of Canvas that are not part of SimNet, this orientation quiz, meet your classmates. In Word and also in Excel, Access and PowerPoint, there are some projects. Word 3, the, this textbook didn't line up exactly chapter per chapter the way the last one did to our um, objectives. So Word 3 actually has some things from Word 3 and Word 4. Word 4 has some things from 4 and 5 in the textbooks or chapters didn't line up exactly. So the SimNet projects weren't really appropriate to what we wanted to do. So there's projects, these are just listed in Canvas, not in SimNet. You'll also have to grade these. These will not grade automatically, but they do have rubrics and there's a discussion. There's also a project, an extra project in Excel, PowerPoint, Access, same thing. For all these things that are in Canvas, you're going to have to set the date for these. Um, that doesn't come over when you load it from the Commons. So now to link to SimNet, click on the SimNet link on the left. Um, you may have to log in if you're not already logged in to SimNet. You want to be sure it's linking to Rack. It should be. And then you have to choose an existing class. I've already made classes for everybody. You should only see your sections, but if you need to filter, um, the section name is always your last name. So this is 3251. That's the one I want to pair with. And there you go. It's linked up. Now you have to actually integrate the assignments. So to do that, it's really not too hard. Here's my different categories, same as we had before. The lessons are tutorials. They have to do tutorials this time around. You have the content quizzes and discussion, hands-on content exams and the skill exams. So you have to take the things from over here on the SimNet side and drag them over. Make sure you get them in the right category. So you have to drag it actually on top of it. So you can fill up the lessons and the quizzes. There is no hands-on homework for the first unit. We're hoping that they add some of that um, the next go around with SimNet. So hopefully we will have that for the fall term. Um, we don't have it right now, however. going to put some of these over. I'm not going to take the time to do all of them. So there's lessons, content quizzes, and then these things, these where it says Word 2016 or whatever 2016 skills approach. The skills approach stuff is your hands-on homework. So after you drag them over, you can refresh the LMS data. And you don't have to do it all at once. You know, I can come back and finish this later, which is what I will do. And now I can close this out and I can go back to my class. So once I do that, I have to add the things to the modules. So I don't need to add anything to that, but I do need to add to here. So if I choose add, I will see these things, the things that I added before or integrated. So I just have to add the items. and then drag them around to where I would like them to be. And I like to indent, but that's just me. And it's a little bit time consuming, but Okay, 
So you have to do that with everything. Put it in, move it around. Now, I don't let them see the assignments link. I try to limit what they can see. If you do want them to see the assignments link, you're going to have to come in here and you're going to have to rearrange this stuff um, so that it's in the correct order and they don't get confused. Now, I have tentative due dates in there. They may not work for your class. However, once it is in here and it's on the calendar, all you have to do to change the date is drag it around. So if I would prefer that to be due on that date, all I have to do is grab it and drag it and it automatically adjusts in both SimNet and in Canvas. And then you don't really have to do anything. Once it's set up, what they do in SimNet, the grades will automatically transfer to your gradebook. So it will auto grade, it'll transfer to the gradebook. Um, the way they're set up, the content quizzes, they can take as many times as they like. The lessons they can do as many times as they like. The tests, we just have one try for the tests. Um, the projects they can also continue to do until they get it correct. It'll record the highest score. However, we do have it set that if they turn work in after the due date, there's a 25% reduction in score. So, and you can override these kind of things if you like. You know, if a student gives you a the real excuse, you know, like a medical excuse, you can go in there and override, and we will give you documentation on how to do that. So hopefully this will help you get your class set up.